Hello, 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 sweet loves. Welcome back to Sweets Unmuted. I thank you guys for tapping in with your girl Sweets, okay? To my new subscribers, I thank you, thank you, thank you for joining the Sweets Unmuted Soul Tribe, baby. To my returning subscribers, do you already know how we do what we do when we do what we do? Boo! I appreciate your love and your loyalty. I appreciate you for staying down and tapping in with your girl Sweets. So we're going to tap right into the energy and see what it is that the Holy Spirit has for you guys. Holy Spirit, I surrender my mind, body, and spirit to you in this moment. I ask that you use me as you will. Use me as the vessel to convey the messages that you need to be conveyed to my sweet love. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. So let's see. What do you have, spirit? I am supported. So you guys can be seeing the number 44 quite often. Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination. Even greater success will come in the future. I am supported. Okay. We got expectation. Y'all know that's my high priestess card. Okay. You guys could, you know, know. You guys could know. And really be seeing the signs and synchronicities and realizing and seeing different, um, you know, your ancestors could be doing stuff to let you know that they are with you and that they are supporting you. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like a sense of illumination. Maybe your guides are illuminating some things to you, illuminating a certain path for you. But they're definitely um, making their presence known, okay? I will say that. Your, your ancestors could definitely be making their presence known. I was uh, driving recently and two of my guides um, their last names showed up and it was crazy because it was my great grandmother and my grandmother and my great grandmother is older than my grandmother and their last names were on the sign and they were in the order of you know like their age and everything. And it was just so clear and uncut that I was like, wow, spirit. Wow, thank you. Like all I could do is thank them. It was, I don't know, it was, it caught me off guard, but it was an amazing feeling. It was amazing clarity and it was amazing confirmation to know that even at that very moment on that you know very path that i was on they took the time you know to let me know that they were with me it was i don't know it was real dope it was real dope so some of you guys could be experiencing that you know your ancestors and spirit guys could be letting you know that they are with you and that they are a lot of them could be doing stuff around your home they can be illuminating their presence within your home Or letting you know that they're around your home, protecting your home. They watch over your home. They watch you at night. But expect that. Expect some sort of. Expect look, ancestral spirit guide message. Expect some sort of illumination that your guides are with you, in, um, either in your home or around you, protecting your home. Okay, we have your heart chakra needs healing and clearing. What pain still sits with you? Okay, and for that to say what pain still sits with you and this is a house and I just said a home, they're with you in your home. A lot of them will sit with you or you need to sit with them, okay? They're with you, but you may need to take some time, okay? Sit at your altar if you have an altar. Or just sit on your couch, maybe gaze out the window and have a conversation with your ancestors. 
for someone if you sit on a couch a lot this is right with one of your ancestors is with you they definitely with you in the home now what pain still sits with you with house there could be childhood wounds there could be pain of the past pain of a childhood pain from a home situation or someone you may have shared the home with there could be some pain there but you need to get with your ancestors and ask them you know for their assistance and their support in your healing Okay, we got journey and change. So some of you guys could be getting a message about a move. You may get some sort of money to move. Now this is, wow, if you haven't already, um, go ahead and check my last upload, which is a real truth reading, right? No, was it? Yeah, it was. It was a real truth reading. And it actually talked about a masculine energy that wanted to either give someone money for a home or buy someone a house and move in with them. But it was money surrounding the house. Here in this journey card, we have a masculine with change and message. So someone could be giving you some sort of money to move. Or you could be getting a message from a callback from, you know, someone in reference to a home, in reference to moving, okay? Maybe it's a masculine energy that may call you and give you this information. But it's something about money for a move or purchasing a home or money for a home. For some of you guys, maybe this may be like rental assistance. But with change here and it's packing up and moving, I mean, you could be receiving rental assistance to move as well. But with this moving, someone may actually be moving. Now, another thing that this just dropped on me, the downloads be coming so fast, oh my goodness. For others of you, right? Let's just say you thought you were, you had to pack up and move, or you were expecting to have to pack up and take a journey somewhere else and move, okay? You may get a message or a call back where you receive some sort of money or assistance to where so you don't have to move. Take that where it resonates. And that's confirmation. Thank you, Spirit, because I did a pre-pull earlier. Um, and, you know, didn't get to hop on and, and, and actually do the reading. But it was in that reading, I had only pulled three cards. And those three cards talked about information, talked about a callback um, from some sort of financial institution. in reference to funds okay so take that where it resonates but we have main female here okay so this could be you this message could be coming to you or someone could be sending you a message giving you some sort of finances whatever this is is going to give you um bring about some sort of opportunity possibly because we have this is your chance go for it do it don't play it safe anything worth having is worth going after so whatever this offer is whatever this you know this money is i don't know maybe you should be accepting it and you will be accepting it Right. Mm. 
so we got either a younger energy or immature energy okay you could find out that this person may have crashed their vehicle because we got journey and then we got the page of cups right it says romantic visitor is like the first words on, on that i see on this cars and we know that this person is traveling towards you so okay for some of you guys whoever this person is whether they're younger than you or they're just energetically immature okay if this masculine energy was supposed to travel towards you there could have been a change to them coming towards you you may get a message about this either the message is about this or the message is about money even if it, a message is about the money there's been a change of plans thank you spirit for clarifying there's been a change of plans to someone's travel someone can no longer travel towards you in a vehicle possibly because they crashed it so this person may have to take some sort of public transportation to come towards you so with that being said there's been a change of plans this person if this person was coming towards you to bring you some sort of money okay there's been a change to that they can't travel towards you because they may have crashed the car they may now have to take some sort of public transportation and you may find out about this if they didn't actually crash their car it's something that took place in their life that prevented them from coming towards you but with the way this look it's a tra it's a change in travel it's a change in plans you're being led down the path of unlearning and relearning to make smarter decisions as you navigate uncharted ground ahead trade no one for curiosity so some of you guys could be wondering why there's been a change to this movement or this person traveling towards you one of the reasons could be that someone may have crashed their car and in the world truth reading i kept getting you speed and slow down you speed and slow down so i don't know if someone crashed their car um speeding yeah yeah Now take it where it resonates too. For some of you guys, if this person was supposed to travel towards you, they could be in a partnership with someone. And I don't know if this person is doing something or saying something. Or put some sort of boundaries or stipulations up to the point where it's though whatever is being done is preventing this person from coming towards you. So I don't know. Maybe this person. Maybe. For some of you guys, if this person is in a connection, the person that they dealing with could have did something to their car. Take that for who it resonates for. That may not be for everybody, but. Yeah.
Yeah, somebody knew. Somebody knew that they sleeping with. And now this masculine is in despair. So somebody knew that they sleeping with either could have did something with their car. I got to see, look. I'm sorry, sweet love. I'm all talking in the what's in the video was skipping. I don't even know what part I got up to, what y'all heard, what y'all didn't hear. But somehow that this person is, is in a relationship with having sex with, okay? They may have done something to their car or set up some sort of boundary. Somebody may have blocked them from coming towards you. They may have did something or said something, maybe utilized sex. I don't know. But we got travel stuck at a crossroads, major intersection. So this person may have been coming towards you, trying to travel towards you, okay, to possibly give you some sort of money, but there ended up being a change of plans. Now, one of two things, right? Either they literally had an accident and then they got to take some sort of public transportation and that could be the reason. Another thing is the person that they dealing with could be in some sort of competition with you, okay? And could have caused some sort of argument and conflict between the two of them. And literally did something to this car to prevent this masculine from coming towards you. Okay. Or they're just, you know, threatening, doing things and putting, creating some sort of boundaries that's preventing this person from coming towards you. And if that's the case, this person is has no backbone because they're basically you know listening well i mean it depends because if this is someone that you ain't need coming towards you then by all means i guess stay where the hell are at but someone could not be doing something as a result of another person now it could just be the whole fact that this individual chose to marry or to be in this committed relationship with this person right not realizing who they are, not realizing the bullshit that they come with, okay? And their action to choose this person seemed to have had some sort of rippling effect, okay? And they didn't realize it or didn't know it, okay? And they may still not see it, how this person, this, this connection is, you know, interfering with other areas of their life. So take that where it resonates, okay? Take that where it resonates. Now, this, this person that they're in a commitment with could be, could be um, blocking them from coming towards you because they feel like they may have some sort of sexual encounter with you. They fear them having a sexual encounter with you. <coughs> wow, confirmation, the empress. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm Somebody fears that this masculine may sleep with this um empress, this main female. So they could be they could be being defensive and setting up some sort of boundaries. They they holding something over their head is what I feel. That's blocking them from coming towards you. But you're going to get a message about some sort of money. Wow, this went all kind of ways. Let me know down in the comments where this resonates for y'all, sweet love. Or when this take place. Remember, these readings are fluid. This could be past, present, or future energy that I'm picking up on. Okay? Flip and switch the rules. You know what's your story. You know your story better than I do. But, yeah. Somebody may be, um, yeah, this, the, whoever this feminine energy is may be codependent on this masculine. So they don't want them to come towards you because they think that, I don't know, maybe they must be threatened by you. They think that you going to, uh, do something with them. 
Yeah, whoever this person is, then despair. This masculine. If they marry this person or got in some sort of commitment with this person, they are in despair. They in despair because they know that the Empress is the official person. And you as the Empress could be guarded towards them. They're in despair. Whoever they decided to go along and be in this commitment with and have this partnership with, <laughs> they will like it there. Man, it's not with it there. What else do you have, Spirit? Patience. I just I seen another card when it came to patience too. So someone this this masculine energy may be lacking patience. Patience is in reverse. Whoever this immature energy is that's trying to travel to, they could be lacking patience. So I don't know if they're running out of patience with this connection or running out of patience with being able to come towards you. Okay. You've put in the work and now you're waiting to reap the benefits. Keep believing that your season is coming. The good you have put out in your life will manifest. There's no need to rush. This person, it, it was shit, they rushing. Whoever this person is, they rushing. They don't have no patience. They trying to get back to you, baby. This masculine, now, if you were in some sort of commitment with this masculine, right? Um, they could be realizing that you're guarded and defensive towards them. And that could be the case um, due to some sort of infidelity. Some sort of secret lovers that they may have had. That had a had an effect on a relationship and, and, you know, exposed that it was a faulty foundation. Yeah. Someone is stuck at a crossroads, though. This masculine energy is stuck at a crossroads when it comes to this empress. Yeah. Look, we got, I like you. But you blocked them. This person's offer is being blocked. And they're having a problem with that, but they're not showing it. So take it where it resonates, okay? This person may have tried to make an impulsive decision and come your way, right? Wow. Thank you, Spirit. So this person may have tried to make an impulsive decision and come your way, right? Because we had patience in reverse on top of the page of cups, all right? And we already know they was traveling towards you. Or well, they could be traveling towards you. Take away it resonates if this hasn't happened um, for you. Your ancestors could have actually blocked this person from coming towards you. So if this person was traveling towards you and all of a sudden they, you know, may have gotten some sort of accident or something happened with their vehicle, they started having vehicle problems. This was spirit and your ancestors blocking this offer. Look, as I say, the dragonfly, be like hard to find it out. Right on top of the house card, an offer. This person could have been about to come to your house, could have been about to pop up at your house. And they was going to probably be all in your ear telling you how much they like you, they want you, whatever the case may be, because we already got out of you the empress, baby. Okay? They know you hot shit on the block, baby. Okay? Some of you guys most definitely could be about to move. We talked about that out here, right? That indicated a move to relocation for some of you guys. Relocation is out here. Okay? But this person got relocated and rerouted. Okay? We got a reconciliation that's coming and that came on the floor. Okay, so this person may have been rerouted. 
Yeah, this person, their offer, they could have been coming towards you to be all up in your ear, telling you how much they love you and like you. Whole time they probably in a commitment already. And this offer got blocked by them having some sort of vehicle issues. And they may not tell you. They may not tell you this. They may also not tell you. They ain't going to tell you that they got problems with whoever they dealing with. Yeah, look, as I say it, four cups. This person is not happy with whoever they're in a commitment with. They want to move and come back towards you. They want to relocate and reconcile with you. Because they bored in this commitment over here. And this is prop which makes sense. Which makes sense. This is why whatever is going on in their situation and why whoever they with, okay, this the karmic partner more than likely, okay, is worried about them coming towards you and sleeping with you because this person that they're in this commitment with knows that they're unhappy with them and that they want to come back to you. This person could be crying over you. They're going to be doing stuff to kiss your ass. Believe that. They're going to be taking action. They're going to be taking action to kiss your ass. This person could have forearm tattoos or have some sort of sleeve. I was feeling this now what, what I said the karmic already know that they don't want to they bought with them okay they want you whoever they in this this partnership with this commitment with this marriage whatever you want to call it this person could take some sort of action and send you a message about this masculine this person this female could be contemplating on sending you some sort of video photo something to do with intimacy okay about this sperm dumpster about this masculine energy that you have a child with now, I don't know if whatever they see you going to leave you stuck at a crossroad, but somebody stuck at a crossroad. I mean, shit, this sperm dumps are definitely stuck at, stuck at a crossroad, okay? But this main female could be threatening in this masculine to expose some sort of truth about them if they travel towards you. Mixed signals yield mixed results. Make sure you are clear about what you are attracting. So this masculine energy attracted this type of individual because of the energy they were putting out. So, yeah, they didn't have discipline. If this masculine was operating out of karmic energy, this is why he attracted this karmic that he thought that posed as an official person because that could have been how they were. They could have posed themselves as an official person, okay, and been attracting people and then turning around doing them dirty, and they ended up attracting somebody just like themselves. They thought someone was a, was a, someone was official only to find out this person was snaky just like them. And now they're ready to snake them. And now they're confused. Whoever they're in this partnership with had them stuck in an illusion. They had them confused. Had them thinking that they were official and the whole time they wasn't. It's 
So someone's dealing with themselves. They're looking themselves in the mirror. But this person, this masculine energy still has love for you. And they want to come back to you. They could be feeling lonely right now. So somebody's in a connection but feels lonely. That's possibly how they could have made someone else feel. They could have been in a connection with another person and made them feel alone. Yeah, this person is burdened. Okay. They could be thinking about how they're going to tell you about a pregnancy. Think the impossible, the unexpected thoughts. The truth will set you free. Sperm dumpster. So they could be wondering how they're going to tell you that they got somebody pregnant. Well, that's them thinking about getting you pregnant. I did a reading. I just posted a reading like that where masculine energy was thinking about plotting and planning to get somebody else pregnant. But with this burden and all the responsibilities that they have going on that you don't give a damn about, one of them could be that this masculine energy has someone pregnant. Now, I don't know if that's with this person that they connected to when they exposed to you. But we got sex tape and lies uh, with the sword and the rules. So it's some type of truth surrounding some sort of sexual encounter. So they could be wanting to tell you that this masculine had sex with them or somebody else and got a baby on the way. But whole time, this masculine was going to mask the problems that he has going on with this feminine energy and come towards you and give you some sort of offer and tell you that they love you or that they like you, they interested in you and all this shit, okay? And they wasn't never going to tell you about the pregnancy and the threatening that they got going on in the background. And your ancestors knew that, so they blocked this shit. They blocked it. They blocked it. Yeah. You're moving away from this person. Mature man, career change, pathway. Okay? This person could be watching you change careers. Watching you, you know, whether it be a career or whether it be you just changing and no longer being interested in them and blocking them. Okay? A new career opportunity comes. This is a new beginning that will challenge you to get out of your comfort zone and expand your horizons. No more playing small. Time to dream big. Take it where it resonates because you guys could also have someone in the backgrounds, a mature man that you don't, that you may not be aware of. This person may be hidden. If you're someone in the spotlight, they may be watching you. Whatever it is that you do. Okay? Take that where it resonates. But for with this person that got all this shit going on, they could be watching you move on to someone else. You could be following a new path. Mm. I don't know why I, got you. <laughs> why I just got this But take this where it resonates right? Another thing For some of you guys when it comes To this sex tape being Exposed or you know This information Because this is a burden for this masculine For some of you guys this video or this information about this sexual encounter could be exposing that someone is sleeping around for money. Yeah. Someone could expose that a masculine is having sex for money. But then on that note, I'm going to leave it there, sweet loves, okay? Tell a friend to tell a friend, book a read with sweets, okay? Love and light to you all, sweet loves. Good day. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that like button as well as that post notification bell as well as that subscribe button, baby. Because we're on the road to 10K, okay? So happen to drive a seat with your homegirl sweets and help us get there. Mwah.
Love and light to you all, sweet love. Good day.